What's going on, y'all? You guys already know Strictly Reviews, baby, is here with some State of the K review thoughts in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Now, this video is going to bring to you guys my thoughts of the game because a lot of people have been hitting me up in Xbox asking me, Strictly Reviews, what is your thought on the game? You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to bring it to you guys. Hold up, everybody. Before we continue this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, and that check mark so you won't miss out. Subscribe. State of the K2. I've been playing it for, you know, since Friday. I got the Ultimate Edition. And really, the Ultimate Edition right here really doesn't really come with nothing. It comes with a download copy of the first game right here. And also, it comes with some survival packs. Maybe because for the simple fact is that they threw the uh, uh, Ultimate Edition with the first game in here to actually sell. Because the original Standard Edition of, of State of the K2 is originally $29. And of course, they want to sell more by throwing in their first game and sell it for $29. You know what I'm saying? So basically, let's go with the price here, y'all. For $29 for State of Decay, as the state of this game right now is not really, really worth $29. I do not even care because for the simple fact is that this game feels undone. The zombies in the game looks like they have dementia. And what I mean by dementia, they look like they're just like, huh? Huh? Is that a human? Like, come on now. I can walk past all these damn empty ass zombies and they just don't even have no damn zombie thinking up in here. Everything just feels so empty. I mean, the graphics are pretty, pretty cool. And like I said, you're not really, really missing nothing in State of Decay 2. They're trying hard, hard, harder, harder, harder to make it more realistic because for the simple fact is that in State of Decay 1, I really, really liked it because for the simple fact is that you can actually do more and I think it like pretty, pretty much had like a like a story onto it that you could actually follow. But in State of Decay 2, it kind of was missing like a plot seeming like you just, you know, walk around to different types of uh, places and camps that you can actually take over and uh, have here and there. And all of a sudden a, a random survivor will pop up and you do these different objectives and favors for them. And you got to just complete that and you got to wait for the next one to pop up. It was too much randomizing shit going on in State of Decay 2. So as I was playing it, I was like, okay, okay, this is going to be pretty, pretty cool. When you first boot up the game, you get that little intro story here. You're like, okay, it's about to be a zombie apocalypse. You get to pick your little, uh, your team, your families of different types of attributes, any type of, you know, each character has here and there. But then when you go into the main game, it loses its steam. Like, okay, so you got to go find your first little uh, hideout and that's it. Because, like I said, when you first start the game up, it gives you that anticipation. Like, oh, shit, we about to get on, you know, here and there. I felt like that. They just put out State of Decay 2 as an updated big DLC version of the game. Because, like, when you look at the town, everything looks the same city like State of Decay 1. But you got to, you know, update it, you know, this gen version of State of Decay 2. I don't know why they named it State of Decay 2. If you name a game a sequel, you got to just add it so, so much different uh, uh, quality and make it seem like it's something you know way way better for state of the k1 is that this time around you can't carry multiple items you can carry multiple little bit of stuff but rub sacks you know what i'm saying you can only carry one rub sack and then when you get that one rub sack you gotta walk all the way back and drop it off and you see some other rub sacks that you miss you gotta walk all the way back and go get it so my thing is to y'all make sure you got a car and make sure you got some gas because like i said you can feel all kinds of rough stacks in the back of the car, the truck, whatever you can find, and you can just carry it all the way back to your fort to keep people from stressing, to keep you know keep people from you know leaving your camp as well. Um, as far as the gameplay, I like the gameplay mechanics because, like I said, when they swing and beat the zombie upside the head, they be like, Ugh! like you just try to knock some sense into a dang zombie on there. Microsoft needs to put you know more time into these games, you know, especially these game developers. Uh, because right now they're just throwing these games out to give somebody, you know, these game releases and we keep buying into it, but they're just unfinished and, you know, later on down the line, they're going to come out with a finished edition or, you know, patch it up. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done in State of Decay 2, but like I said, y'all, I like State of Decay 1, and uh, this is my thoughts, this is my review of it, and uh, it's very, very repetitive, and it's too, too quiet here and there, and like I said, State of Decay 1 had more of a bang co-oping. The servers right now are kind of sucking because I noticed that you can only add in your friends into coming into the game. You can't, they don't have a server that I have not seen where you can go on the outside and have random people jumping in and out. 
and that's what it's lacking right now because like I said the co-op is kind of sucky right now and hopefully they get the servers up and running because that's what people have been asking say the K2 is missing something and like I said y'all make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, just turn to reviews I'm gonna come with more of my reviews and my thoughts I know I've been slow with it but I want to sit down and play these games for a very very long time to try to complete them to bring them to you guys and here's what I'm going to do here for you guys I have an extra download copy of State of Decay Part 1. Yes, I'm going to give it away because this is the this is the first one, the best in the series. Hopefully when they release a State of Decay 3, it would actually be a lot, lot better here and there. Got a code right here that I'm giving away to a random, random person into the comments. Within about two to three hours, I'm going to uh, give it to a random person. I'm going to comment on your comment and say, hey, you got I mean you I mean you got this code, send me your email right now. And I'm going to give you a couple of times to respond. And when you send me the email, I will send you a copy of this game right here, State of Decay Part 1. Love y'all out there. And make sure you guys still go pick up your games if you want to. And like I said, if you want to wait for the price to drop of State of Decay 2, go ahead and wait for it to you know, drop down to about 20 bucks because right now that's a $20 game. If you just want to just have some extra money, go ahead and get the Ultimate Edition. And like I said, you'll get the first game inside State of Decay 2. Love y'all out there. Bye. Straight up with you.